Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Real Bride by Enzoni. I'm Carly Kamarowski, and I've teamed up with Enzoni, one of the leading bridal fashion houses, as their brand ambassador. Today, we're at Blush Bridal Couture in Tustin, California, where I've been the manager for nearly a decade. We're gonna be talking about something so important, the source of many brides' anxiety, your first wedding dress shopping appointment. What do I bring? What undergarments do I wear? Who do I bring? Is my consultant gonna be judging me? What if it's awkward? What if I smell bad? What if my consultant smells bad? Sit tight, grab a glass of wine, and let's talk this thing through. First of all, release any expectations that you have about your appointment. If you tell yourself it's gonna be awkward and uncomfortable, it will be. So enjoy it, trust your consultant, and let her guide you into doing what she's here to do, help you find the one. First of all, we're gonna talk about photos. Photos are so important for your consultant. I don't care what you're showing me, show me something. I don't care if it's a bunch of pictures of dresses that you hate, some things that you like, a neckline you're obsessed with, a back that you love. It doesn't matter, but it's so useful to us to pinpoint kind of your visual aesthetic just to pick that first round of dresses. Give me something to work with here. Cover the bottom. One major source of anxiety before you start shopping is the actual nitty gritty of what's gonna go down in the fitting room. The consultant is gonna be in there with you. So wear underwear you're comfortable in front of a stranger in, if that means Full coverage panties, go that route. If you don't want me to see a naked butt, cover it up. Also, top-wise, you could do some pedals, a strapless bra, or even the sticky bra. You can even go with nothing on top. That's totally fine for us. Just want to make sure you're comfortable. Also, make sure you do wear underwear. If you ain't got none on, you're not trying on dresses. Would you really want to put on a dress without underwear that somebody's been allowed to put on without underwear before as well? Della Della Bills. Wedding dresses aren't cheap, and chances are before you walk into your appointment, you're gonna have somewhat of an idea of a budget you're looking to spend. It's really important that you really have a good idea of what you're gonna spend and not really veer outside of that unless it's 100% financially doable. Sometimes you'll bring people with you and the excitement gets the best of everybody and your aunt just thinks you're gonna love this dress so, so much, just try it just for fun. And then you do love it and you can't afford it. We're girls, there's nothing worse than feeling like we can't have something that we love. You're just gonna want it even more. Which brings me to my next point. Bring your A-team. This is so important. Bring your core people, people that really understand you, have your best interest at heart, and that understand your style. I'm sure your cousin's sister's best friend, Anne, is a wonderful woman, and she's sort of in your family-ish, but do you really need her to pick your wedding dress? On that note, when you can't invite everybody and there is bound to be some maybe hurt feelings floating around, invite them to another part of the wedding dress process, an alterations appointment, your pickup appointment when you come get the dress. That way they'll feel included, but they don't need to be there on the day that you're actually picking the dress. Open that mind, girl. I know this is a little bit contradictory to what I said before about even bringing photos of things that you hate, but bear with me here. A good consultant's gonna make you try a little bit of everything. Say you don't want strapless, I get it, I hear you, put one on anyway. You might end up loving it. You really don't know what you're gonna like until you see it on your body. So just go into your appointment with an open mind, try a little bit of everything. You'd be shocked at how many people end up picking the dress that they swore up and down they were gonna hate. Don't fight the feeling. You know when you go regular shopping and you put something on and you're like, oh my God, take my money now, this is mine. Same rules apply here. If you put something on and you're obsessed with it, you love it, you got the warm fuzzies, you can see yourself walking down the aisle in it, you've probably found your dress. If you need peace of mind, tell your consultant, hey, I think this is my dress. Maybe can we pull a few others just to be sure? But don't miss your perfect dress when it's staring back at you in the mirror. Go on with your bad self. Have fun at your appointment. Try to relax and enjoy the process as best you can. Also, when you found it, be done. 
The right dress will feel like the right dress. There'll be no buts about it. Thank you for watching another episode of Real Bride by Sony. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below.